Well, what up there, Closer Nation? Y'all uh, y'all ready to talk about some real stuff today? We're going to get real with you. We'll give everybody a couple minutes to get loaded up here. This is called Small Talk or Chattery. <laughs> we get everything, never mind the smoke. You know, this shit happens sometimes around 4.20. I'm a little early today, but you get what I'm saying. What's up, everybody? I'm going to talk about like why people are scared of success. A lot of folks say that they want success, but we all know that uh, people aren't willing to do what it takes to achieve it. And we all say that talk is cheap and everything else, but most people, the truth is most people are scared of success. And I'm going to give you uh, four reasons, major reasons, the psychology, the programming behind them and everything else of why people are scared of success and why people fear failing forward. It's going to be a lot easier to understand than you probably think. I'm just put it in layman's terms because I'm not a doctor, an attorney, or anybody else. I'm just some dude that's highly observant, that's paid attention to the actual things that I've been through and that my thousands of clients have been through and the social experiments and everything else that I've done. So if you're into finding out like more about like what's going on inside us psychologically so that we can psych ourselves, it's like that's how that works, right? So that we can psych ourselves up to be uh, better then uh, share this or give us a like, like kind of get some thumbs up, you know, like, yeah, right, we want to hear that shit. Ah, or not, right? Maybe there's a little delay. Uh, like, give me some love, share this with your people. If you're on my team or if you're a member of the Sales Talk with Sales Pros group, just share this in there for me. That way I don't have to like wait for a second and then go and then like share it or whatever. So give me some thumbs up, give me some shares, some comments. And I'm going to talk to you today about how you can overcome the fear of failing forward, how that you can stop being scared of success. And, uh, you know, as the uh, great philosopher DJ Khaled once said, uh, stop suffering from success. So the first reason why people are scared of success is because since birth, we are naturally programmed with some bullshit, right? Let, let, now, let me clarify what that bullshit is, but rest assured that since birth, we have been programmed, pre-programmed, pre-desistant, pre predisposition with some bullshit. People tell us that money is the root of all evil. A rich man can, no, can easier go through the eye of a needle, a camel can, e can go through the eye of a needle easier than a rich man can get into heaven. We're told all this bullshit. Money is the root of all evil. Mo money, mo problems, as the great philosopher Puff Daddy once said. We've got all these things that have been naturally programmed in us at a young age, right? I tell my kids, money don't grow on trees. I don't tell them that, but that's what was told to me. Technically, money's paper, so doesn't it fucking grow on trees? I never looked up what tree it's grown from, but last time I fucking checked, that's what it is. Shit that comes from trees. Anyway, we say all these ludicrous things like money won't make you happy. It's like the more money you get, it's not going to solve your problems. And I'm here to tell you the more money you make, the more of your problems get solved. It may not solve all of them, but it'll solve a large fucking majority of them, such as your car payment, your house payment, your ability to take your wife or your significant other or your husband or whoever out on a date, your ability to go vacation. It does matter. But see, we've been naturally programmed all of our lives so that when we start finding the opportunity that could lead to success, when we start finding the opportunity or the right job or the right partner or whatever it is that could lead us into success in any area of our lives, not just business and financially, we get scared of it. We say, you're not going to find the right girl in a bar. And then you find the perfect girl in a bar, but then your like, mind is like, oh shit, you're not going to find the right girl in a bar. And then you find a reason to fuck it up with her. It's because we're naturally programmed on some bullshit by a bunch of people that don't have their shit together that we call parents. The only reason that we had respect for most of them was because we thought they had their shit together because we didn't know anybody. We didn't know anything else. And I'm not trying to knock everybody's parents, but I'm just saying, let's be real. We have been programmed. If your parents told you all that stuff, just like mine, we, most of us have been programmed with some bullshit. And then when we get older, we don't realize it, but in the back of our mind, there's that money doesn't grow on trees shit coming back through our head, which causes us to fear success. That's the first part because we've been naturally programmed for such a long time. Anybody agree with that? I'm reading the comments right now on this. Anybody agree with that? Would you? Anybody here is like, dude, my parents did the same shit to me. Anybody? Duncan. Hey, what's up, Duncan? He says, hell yes. Thankfully, his only problems in his life are being solved by making money. Hey, money won't solve all your problems. It'll solve like 99.9% .9 of them. <laughs> hey, what's up, Keelan? Laura Rodriguez, she said, yep, she's always said that money does make us happy. Absolutely. I'm, I, and, and I know I'm not alone when I say I'm the guy that wakes up and if my bank account doesn't have a certain amount of money in it, I feel insecure and get grumpy and angry. When I have an abundance of money around, I'm happy. And I don't mean I have to be spending at the bar on, on all this other shit. I'm talking about I'm just happy that I'm actually secure, right? Because money is security. That's what it is. It's a security. It's a security that in exchange for that dollar, you can get whatever you want. It's a security in your head. It's an actual security 
itself. And, and so that's what it does. It creates security. And the more of it that you have, the more secure you should feel inside. However, most people, they're scared to have a whole lot of it. They have an upper limit, which leads me to my second part here is the self-punishment part. Man, especially us salespeople, we are fucking gluttons for punishment. Are we not? Like, hey, don't, do, we, do you do, are you one of these people that do stupid shit to yourself, put yourself in shitty situations, and, and then like later on you're like, dude, what am I doing to myself? Like you can't figure out why you keep making the same idiotic mistakes over and over. Look, I'm raising my hand, I'm one of them too. Like, dude, what the fuck is wrong with me? Well, a lot of us, have, we have like that, we were raised around people that said, you gotta be humble and all this other stuff, and we start seeing success, we hit these upper limits and we start self-punishing ourselves. You don't deserve that. Time out, which means go blow your money on something stupid. Go fuck up your marriage. Go yell at your boss or fire your assistant to where now you got to do all the other work and everything else, right? That's what happened. We start self but Shit gets good. I see entrepreneurs do all this all the time. Shit gets going good in their business and they find some way to fuck it up because they want to punish themselves because they don't believe that they deserve the – they don't believe that they can des – they deserve what it is that they've been presented with and what it is that they have currently. This shit drives me crazy. I watch people cancel good programs. I watch people leave good jobs. I'm like, why did you do that? And they'll have some kind of bullshit excuse, but I know deep down inside of me because of the experience that I have that that's self punishment. Anybody like that? Right? You like get things going. And maybe you didn't know it until right now. You're like, dude, that makes total sense. I always fuck shit up once it starts going good. Dude, you're not alone. There's a bunch of people out there in the world that go through this. They get things rolling. They get things going just right. How many people we've seen in a sales talk group one month talk about how everything's awesome. The next month talk about how they fuck their marriage up and they're about to lose their job, right? Because they self-punish themselves. It's not that the universe said, oh, you're doing good. You can't have that anymore. That's not how it works. The universe wants to give you more. If you're making sales, the reason why the top producer gets spoon-fed from management is because management wants to give him more. The universe works the same way for you, but the problem is you try to find a way to deprive yourself because of self-punishment. Get all sweaty and shit. Deprive yourself from self-punishment, and you don't think that you deserve it because you've been naturally programmed. The two tie together, by the way, and then what happens? You fuck it up. The next thing is most of us grew up playing sports, and I'm not about to knock sports, but this is the third part. We have this locker room, this sports mentality. And when I say locker room and sports mentality, you know how it is. It's like you go into the locker room, and you're like, dude, man, I rushed for like 100 yards on that touchdown. Like, you ain't shit. Them motherfuckers were slow, <laughs> right? Like, like, raise your hand if that has ever happened to you. Hit the, hit the thumbs up button if you've ever been like, like, that's how we grew up. You're like, dude, did you see that hole in one? They're like, dude, you got lucky, man. You ain't about shit. And that's just what we do as guys. Right now, with the girls a little different, they like say to your face, oh, that was awesome, Shirley. And then as soon as Shirley leaves, they're like, she is some bullshit. She got lucky. Don't lie, ladies. You know that's how guys were up front. <laughs> ladies, they do it by, and the other ladies know, so they know. Right? And that's what we do. We have this locker room talk, which is also part of the programming that we've had to go through, which also leads to that self-punishment. Because when something good happens, you're like, oh, I didn't deserve that shit. I didn't deserve that shit. Right, and so we, like, even though sports can be some of the greatest things because we learn teamwork and all this other stuff, at the same time it can be some of the most uh, mentally, mentally shrinking uh, things that we can go through as youngsters, right, because of the programming. And so that's something else to think about. So now that you're aware, I'm gonna give you the, the fourth one here in a second, but now that you're aware that these are the things that are going on inside of your head making you think this way and everything else, here's the question that I wanna ask you. Who are you surrounding yourself with? Because that's the fourth thing that matters the most. You become scared of success because there's this thing called the crabs in a bucket theory. If one tra crab's trying to escape, the other crabs will pull that crab back down to them so that he remains mediocre in the middle of the non-escape crabs because they don't want somebody to get away if they can't get away, right? It's the crabs in a bucket mentality. Oftentimes, when we're successful, like me, for example, I, I grew up in a, 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 like a little class neighborhood. There wasn't a lot of rich people. There wasn't any rich people. Uh, there weren't any rich people in my city that I grew up in. And uh, definitely, as I got older, I had to sleep on the streets and stuff like that. I grew up humble. Again, I don't have like billionaires and millionaires and all these like cool people that I had in my life now. I don't have none of them later. Uh, uh, before and so what happened is I start as soon as I started becoming successful my friends and family would reach out to me and they'd be like you know you shouldn't be bragging about being top producer at the mortgage company you know your ego's getting in your way you shouldn't be bragging about being that you got a big ego just because you make all that money you think you fancy and what happens is most of us are like oh shit my mom 
She hit me up and told me that I shouldn't be bragging. Am I being bragging? Blah blah. blah. But meanwhile, you're not taking you're, you're not taking into account that maybe your mom, God bless her, she worked for twenty thousand dollars a year her whole entire life. Maybe she's not qualified to give you advice on what you should be doing on how you live your life. Most people say we come from humble beginnings. That's just like a fancy way of saying our parents didn't have their shit together. I don't want my kids to ever say I come from humble beginnings because that's a direct reflection of me. I get to choose to be mediocre. I want my, my kids to grow up and go, hey, man, we grew up with money. My dad hustled his ass off, so we grew up with money. Sorry your dad didn't, right? And you might think that that's an asshole mentality, but the people that don't want your kids to be successful, the people that don't want you to be successful, the people that are offended by that are those fucking crabs in the bucket. And because of the natural programming, because of the self-punishment, because of the locker room talk, we tend to accept what it is that they say to us as if it's the gospel or as if we should change according to a few people's uh, uh, input and opinions that we didn't even ask for. Now think about how profound that is for a second and how those four things tie in together. You know, Brian, exactly, Brian Norvell, he says, my kids will never say that, uh, that they grew up humble. Exactly, because you know what, Brian, I know your story. Your story is you grew up poor as fuck and your parents didn't have their shit together and you want to make sure that's not the case for your kids so you got your shit together. Congratulations, brother. You see, that's a difference maker. That's someone who's not scared of success. Someone who's, hey man, Brian's human just like I am. I know him very well. He's one of my clients. He's an awesome guy. If you need a realtor in Dallas, Texas, he is the man. But here's the thing. He's not scared of success because he understands that these are the, 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 the people's opinions, the, the, the negative connotations, all those programs. He's gone through the process to get those things out of his head. As a matter of fact, I'll give you an example. Brian hits me up the other day and he shares something with me called Alpha Waves, which is like the shit you listen to on YouTube. You like, like you know, get the power beats, you listen to it on YouTube. And it's like creative shit that you listen to. And it's like often just go to YouTube after you're done with the video and search Alpha Waves. It's like creative music or whatever, right? Brian's using that music to program himself. He's listening to audiobooks to program himself or to deprogram himself of the bullshit that his parents instilled inside his head. I have client after client that's that way. It's like their parents told them this, or their parents were on drugs, their parents did stupid shit, their parents gave them up, they were adopted, whatever the case. And they get all this stigma inside their head. But hey, man, it's easy to clear up once you understand that the natural career programming is bullshit. You understand that you don't deserve to be punished for being successful. You understand that you deserve what you earn. If you're in sports and you ran 100 yards, own that shit and earn it. If you're in sales and you closed a lay down sale, that shit was lay down because you are a gangster, right? And listen, if the other people around you in your circle are trying to be crabs in a bucket and pull you down, get a parachute, get a hot air balloon, hop on a jet plane, get the fuck away from them. And with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, if this resonated with you, if you love this shit, share it. We need to get this message in front of more people because there's folks everywhere suffering from, uh, fr su suffering from this shit, scared of success, and they have this fear of failing forward from what other people would think of them. And let's do our part to put an end to it. Let me get some likes and comments, and let me get out of here. Later, everybody.